Hello, I'm Jamie, and this is Hungry to Blog reporting live into your computer. Computer, computer, I'm a robot computer. So, this is Hungry Vlog. Blah, 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 blah. Let's get to the weigh in. Welcome to the weekly weigh in. I just woke up. I'm tired. 300.4. Oh, so freaking close. So I lost some weight. I can't remember how much. What did I weigh in last week? You do the math. I don't feel like it. I am at. What did I lose? Now I gotta look it up. Son of a. So I lost around four pounds. Yay! But it sucks, kind of, too. Excuse me, I've got a cough. <coughs> I tried to get to under 300 pounds this week and I thought I was gonna get there because last night I got on the scale once the first time first time I got on the scale and I weighed 299.8 and then I was like okay that I was so happy this first time I've seen the scale ever say two something 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 so I got back off and I got back on and it said 300.8 and it wouldn't go, and I kept doing it. I kept getting on and off, 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 on and off. And it kept saying 300.8. And it only said 299.8 the first time. And I was so freaking upset because it wouldn't go back down to 299. And then so I was like, I worked out really hard at the gym last night. And I busted some A. And I thought for sure I could get down to that 200 for this weigh in. And I woke up and I grabbed the camera. I didn't weigh in or anything. I just grabbed the camera and the first weigh in you, that you saw was the first weigh in I saw for today. Sometimes I'll get on the scale and check it out before I do it on the camera just to let you know. Woke up, first thing, grabbed the camera, walked in there, did the weigh in. And it was 300.3 I think. I'm excited. I'm so close. So freaking close. I just wanted it for this weigh in. I don't know why. I'm very happy I lost four pounds though because I well, let me show you the... Hello and welcome to another episode of Did You Do A Good Job or Did You Blow It? I'm Jamie, your host. Oh, I'm gonna catch up all the way up until today, which today is Tuesday the 13th. Saturday, I did a good job. Sunday, I did a good job. Monday, I did a good job. I did go to the gym Saturday and Sunday. No, I didn't go Sunday. Because I worked on Monday, good job and the gym. Sorry, then I'll just get screwed up. Oh well. Tuesday, I think I blew it. Yes, I did. Tuesday, I blew it. Wednesday, I did a good job. However, on Tuesday, I did go to the gym. And Wednesday, I did go to the gym. Thursday, I blew it. And I didn't go to the gym. Friday, I blew it and I didn't go to the gym. Saturday, I did a good job, but I didn't go to the gym. Sunday, I did a good job, and I went to the gym. Monday, I did a good job. I went to the gym. So remember to ask yourself, did you do a good job today? Or did you blow it? So I blew it three days this week. I'm really happy I actually lost four pounds because those three days were pretty big blew it days. <laughs> I've worked my ass off trying to get lose all the weight that I gained from those three days. So it was a tough week. I'm just happy like I got back in the groove of things and I actually did the work. Do the work people. Don't make excuses no matter what. Don't make excuses. Don't say, I gained weight because I think I gained muscle. No, no, that's an excuse. If you gain weight, you say, you know what? I know what I did wrong. I did some stuff wrong. Or maybe you didn't do anything wrong. Just don't make an excuse. Just say, just take it and move on. Take the information and move on and continue to work. Don't excuse your weight. Why are you excusing it? There's no reason to excuse it. So that's just my words of wisdom. I'm really getting in tune with my words of wisdom lately. Last night, I got off of work at 10 o'clock at night. 
and I was so freaking tired. My back was sore, everything, and just legs were killing me. Well, they weren't killing me, but they were tired. My legs were sore. I was like, I, I really don't want to go to the gym, but I have this weigh-in tomorrow, and I want to bust it out in the gym. Or I just at least want to go there and do something. That was my mind thought. I was like, I just want to go and do, even if I don't do my full workout, I want to go do, you know, just something. So that was my mindset when I was walking into the place. So, and I get on the elliptical machine, and I'm like, okay, I'm just going to do 15 minutes. Usually I do 30 minutes. I'm like, I'm just going to do 15 minutes. And then so I'm going, and my legs, I t they were so tired. I just felt it, and they were sore. And I was like, God, I'm so freaking tired. About five minutes on, I'm like still tired. And then come between like five minutes and ten minutes, all of a sudden, I got all this energy. And I'm like, wait a minute, like, I'm not that tired anymore. I can keep going. I'm going to do my full 30 minutes. So I ended up doing... I sneeze. Oh my god. Usually I can control my sneeze. This guy sneezed all over myself. So I ended up doing my full 30 minutes. And I realized, if you're tired before you go and you start your workout, just start your workout. Just do it anyways. Don't be like, well, I'm just going to do this easily. Wait and start your workout. Uh, say you're 10 minutes in. And if you don't feel like you're more energized and like and you're still not gonna want to like in my mind I was like I still don't want to do this 30 minutes but now in my mind I can tell that I can do this 30 minutes and I'm not so tired go start your workout at least start it and then uh, you might because your body will start burning that energy and then you'll start getting more energy and you'll start to feel it and be like well I don't feel nearly as tired I'm almost done with it. you know I was 20 minutes into it and I'm like I don't feel, ne feel nearly as tired as when I did when I started it so just start your workouts wait 10 minutes into your workout and then judge how long you're gonna go because I'm definitely gonna start doing that now I'm not gonna time my workout until 10 minutes in and then that's why that's when my body start burning that energy that fat and tell how much energy I have now and how long I can go you want to see what I have for breakfast this morning here's the cooking show Jamie's cooking show mmm breakfast it's one of my favorite things. Just woke up, and I'm not brushing my hair. Look at the hair. Oh, am I going bald? I better not be. I know I am eventually. Oh, my hair doesn't look good. It's I'm making breakfast. Does your hair look good when you make breakfast? I don't think so. All right. So let's go to the fridge. I want a, a hearty breakfast this morning. I just feel like I want one. Um, I don't want like a yogurt and a granola bar. I don't want that. So I want a hearty, healthy breakfast. I really want a really fattening breakfast. No, I'm not doing that. I don't know what I'm gonna make. I'm just gonna do it right off the top of my head. Could taste disgusting, so I don't know. Let's go with an avocado. Um, some onion. It's one or two eggs. One egg. Whites and yolks and whites and yolks. Oh, there's a green pepper. I didn't even know I had that green pepper. Why not? I'm gonna throw a burger burger in there. Boca burger. Bruschetta tomato basil parmesan. So you know I'm gonna want some freaking cheese. Put one of these on there. Queso, queso fresco chipotle. I've got an egg, an avocado, a green pepper, an onion, a set of boca burger. Oh, maybe some enchilada sauce. I have. Let's get cooking. First, you gotta lube up that pan. Lube. Ew, pervert. I hate that word. Lovely onions and green pepper. So the pan's heating up, but it's not really hot yet. But I'm just gonna throw it in there anyhow. I just threw the Boca Burger in the middle. I forgot I had to actually cook the Boca Burger. Spread in the cheese. Spread in the cheese. Ah. Some avocado. Half of an avocado on the flatbread. Oh, by the way, I decided to use the flatbread. And it's a spinach one. It's not like moldy, uh, moldy tortilla or anything. Um, but it had less calories than an actual tortilla. Chopping up the bruschetta burger. Oops, I turned it a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to put some of that in there. A little Mexicano! Ay, ay, ay! Ay, ay, ay! Yeah, ha, ha. Look how much freaking food this is. So, no egg. I don't need it. Egg is going away. This is a very, very freaking healthy breakfast. And look how freaking big it is. Okay, the cheese is only 35 calories. The flatbread is 90 calories for one. This stuff 
has 20 calories and a fourth of a cup, and I did not use anywhere near a fourth of a cup. A Boca burger has 90 calories in it. Green pepper, onion, don't really count that. Avocado, half of avocado, I, I wanna say around 100 calories. Not sure about that. Freaking healthy breakfast, people. Or 50 calorie breakfast, probably less than that though. Cooking with Jamie. Breakfast flatbread burrito. Hey, 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 hey. Nibbling, want it? it? Looks like dog food. You want some? You want some? Here, you want that? I'll give you that. Maybe I should let you try it before I try it, right? Oh, get it. First bite. Delicious! I hope you enjoyed that little breakfast tidbit. Um, it was really good. I ate the whole daggone thing. I'm starting a new channel, and it's called Reality in Reality. It's about reality TV because I freaking love reality T freaking V. So this uh, ch new channel is going to be me reviewing different reality shows and me giving my opinion on what is happening in the show because apparently I'm an expert. At least I think I'm an expert. If you love reality TV, come watch. And I'm first starting off with Survivor, which starts Wednesday, September 14th. That's about it. That's all I have to tell you. I think there was one more thing I was gonna tell you, but I can't remember because I got so much stuff to do today. I'm Jamie, and this is Hungry to Blog. Blah, blah, blah.